And Helen joins us now live from Cannon Hall Farm in South Yorkshire, where, of course, they film the show. It's all go, Helen, every single minute. There's something exciting happening. Every minute something's changing and everybody's poised, sort of ready for things to happen. I'm not just sitting around, I'm sort of sitting here calmly because all of these ewes are due to give birth any minute, any day. There's one behind me that has just started to push its water bag out. She's not pushing yet, so it's not imminent, but it could be, you know, before the end of your programme anyway, so fingers crossed. No one gets involved unless they have to, but everybody's ready should they need to lend a hand. Oh. And we have to. Uh, yeah, well, you do, exactly, Helen, because that's what this show is. You're all very <laughs> much involved in it. I, I can imagine, though, it's, it's difficult to not get emotionally attached to these little animals. You've been there from the very beginning. It, you just must fall in love with them. Oh, 100%. My little boy said to me this morning when I left for work, can you bring those two little goats home? And my dad just looked at him and said, we haven't got a shed for them because if you could, you'd end up taking everything home. But the animals here are definitely the stars of the show. You know, there's a reason that people come and they look for John Bon Pony and they look for Ted the Highland Bull. You know, Biscuit and Waffle, the little goats I introduced you to before. I think they just put a smile on people's face and that's a wonderful thing about animals. Very, very humbling very grounding and just nice to be around. So yeah, they're definitely the stars of the show around here for sure. The star being John Bon Pony, did you say? <laughs> yeah, little Shetland Pony with a mad old fringe, just one of the characters. <laughs> and there are loads and loads more characters to introduce you to over the next couple of weeks. This weekend alone, I mean, there've been loads of new lambs, loads of goats. Any day now, we're waiting for puppies and a shire horse to give birth. So. Fingers crossed we'll be able to share that news with you over the next few days. Oh my gosh, it's just, it's so incredible. And you mentioned just you're back actually at your parents' farm now. I mean, this is your natural habitat, Helen. I'm not sure if a lamb has chewed my cable, but I can't hear a word that Oh, can you, can you hear me now, Helen? <laughs> can you hear me? Are they being very naughty behind you? Oh, I think she has. She's gone. That's what happens live on the farm, isn't it? Anyway, we'll try and get her back. There's lots happening on the farm with Helen this morning. Hopefully, we're going to have little lambs live on air here a little bit later on. Helen is back, we hope. You can hear me now. Yes, I can. Good, good, right Helen. on the edge, Christine. <laughs> always, always. <laughs> now, Helen, tell us about um, the mission this time around with the series. I know you're trying to give back a little bit to our farmers, show a bit of appreciation for the work that they do this time in the series. Well, at this time of year, farmers up and down the country, it's all hands on deck. And, you know, we see it here all the time. People have got to be ready to go, 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 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And we just want to encourage people to, you know, sort of realise that if you don't use your farming community and your local farm shop and British produce, then you're going to lose it. You know, we are a little island with some fabulous food producers, food that we all enjoy. And, you know, during the pandemic, they kept food on our plates. So we really want to use this series to celebrate the work of the farming community, showcase how wonderful it is and encourage people to, to back their local food producers and buy British. Yeah, very, very important. And of course, you've got the royal seal of approval again this series with Princess Anne getting involved. Yeah, Princess Anne came to visit the farm a couple of series ago and the boys had an invitation back. It's a really beautiful little film and just showcases how Princess Anne uses her animals to, to churn up the land and recultivate one of the woodlands that she has. So, yeah, really interesting. And, you know, for as long as I've been around farming, my dad was a dairy farmer, there's always new ways of thinking and new things happening. And for me, it was just a really nice way to see nature helping nature. And do you know what's really nice is I think when I was a kid, Christine, everyone was kind of a bit like, oh, farm kids. Whereas now, people are excited by the countryside and excited by rural life. So it's a really nice turnaround and lovely to see so many people interested. But, and, and just appreciating our farms yeah, and our gorgeous. countryside, like you say, Helen, because it's, it's, so, it's good for all of us to get outside and to just to walk in the fields. We did it for long enough during the pandemic. We appreciated our outdoors more than ever. Oh, and particularly at this time of year, you know, winter's long and nights are dark, but now, I mean, this morning, what a spectacular morning. There are loads of people cleverer than me that can bang on about the benefits of green therapy. But for me, I know I sleep better, I eat better, my kids are better behaved 
if they've been outside and enjoyed some, you know, some fresh air and some countryside. And I think we're really lucky that there's so many people who care about the countryside and that's why it is as good as it is. And that's what this series is all about, is about celebrating that and championing that. And we're very grateful that so many people get involved. You know, it's one of those shows that there's so much social media around it and people love to see what's happening. I keep looking over my shoulder to see if this you's about to give birth. Okay. I think we're not too far off, you know, any not? minute you right. might have another little well, one. Well, Helen. Well, make sure they name this one Christine. Yes, yes. Well, thank you. I'd be very flattered. We'll, we'll try and let us know as soon as there's any kind of movement, Helen. We'll try and get back to you. Um, be careful there at the same time, OK? They're all getting a bit closer to you. Um, springtime <laughs> on the farm returns tonight at 8pm on Channel 5. Thank you, Helen. We will keep up to date with you.